Good morning, Sharks. I'm Wandy. And I'm Jaden. Welcome to today's exciting show. We're here at the RP Funding Center for two days of entertainment at the Lakeland Pro Rodeo. This is Polk County's largest Wild West extravaganza. And we have an extra special treat for you today. Not only is TSC News reporter Ryla Bryant here to cover the event for us, she's also performing in the rodeo. Ryla, are you there? Howdy, guys. I'm so excited that you decided to check out this year's rodeo. We are too. We can't wait to see you perform, but you have some information for the Sharks first, right? That's right. I'm ready to share my love of the rodeo with all of you. Sounds great. Here's Ryla with today's top story. For over 30 years, Leroy Mason and his wife Judy have been bringing the rodeo to our town. This year's Lakeland Pro Rodeo Classic Extreme Edition features not only typical rodeo events, but also extreme sports such as freestyle motocross. Rodeo is the same pretty well everywhere as far as the contest is concerned, but then you have to bring in other stuff that people like to educate them to rodeo. So that's what we specialize in because of the people that we work with is all like one big family. And that's one way that we all get together, but that's really what inspires me and, and keeping the tradition of the Western way alive. Rodeo events include barrel racing, bull riding, team roping, steer wrestling, bareback riding, tie down roping, and saddle bronc riding. Rodeo announcer Jerry Todd has to keep the crowd entertained and provides all the information for what's coming up next in the show. I started out as a contestant. I rode bucking horses for about 10 or 15 years, uh, even clowned a few rodeos along the way. And uh, one day a guy just came up to me and said, listen, he said, how would you like to start announcing rodeos? I said, I don't, never, never done it before. He said, well, why don't you think about it? And I did think about it. And uh, I figured if I wanted to be in rodeo, I could live a lot longer talking about it than I could actually doing it. And so I figured, well, I'll give it a shot. And I went to my first rodeo, walked up, and a guy kind of gave me an idea of how I was supposed to do it. And I walked up and took it over. And I've been doing it for, I think, 35 years now. Fan favorite Team Ghost Riders are trained by Tim Leopard, who is also rodeo clown known as Wild Thing. Let's find out how he prepares his act for the show. Each animal is different. The monkeys are different. Uh, each dog is different. The personalities are different. Some of them are easier, some of them are longer. But I've went from three days to train one to ten years. The newest addition to this year's rodeo is the FMX Stunt Show. These daredevils perform crazy and death-defying jumps, tricks, and stunts on motorcycles and four-wheelers. My favorite part of the rodeo is barrel racing because it's very exciting. I like the, the ones with the monkeys riding the dogs. My favorite part of the rodeo is bull riding because it's a real nail-biter. My favorite part of the rodeo, I would have to say, would be the barrel racing because my sister used to do rodeos and that was my favorite part. My favorite thing about the rodeo is the monkeys on the dogs because they're just so adorable. I like it whenever they get hit by the bull. My favorite part of the rodeo was the bareback riding because it was funny to watch because it looked like their backs were breaking. What I like about rodeos is that they are really fun and they take place outdoors and, pe and it's just really exciting. As a rodeo participant, I perform barrel racing, take part in opening ceremonies as a patriotic cowgirl, talk to sponsors, and attend VIP dinners. If you and your family didn't have a chance to visit this year's Lakeland Pro Rodeo Classic, you can catch them at their next event. Ryla Bryant, TSC News. Yeehaw! I'm ready to do some bull riding. Hang on there, little buckaroo. You can't just jump on a bull. You need years of training and experience. So what you're saying is I can't ride a bull today? That's exactly what I'm saying. <sighs> what a relief. That thing would crush me to bits. I'm glad you came to your senses so quickly. I would like to learn more about bull riding though. Then let's go to Iderica where we can learn about how physics works in bull riding with today's brain strain. Did you know that a bull tries just about anything to get the rider off its back? They kick, spin, jump, and sometimes even stumble and fall down. All of these moves produce a force that the rider has to overcome. Let's look at it in terms of gravitational measure or G's. A typical roller coaster ride would be three G's which is three times the force of gravity. Extreme coasters may be up to five Gs. How many Gs do cowboys face when they saddle up to take on a bull? A, two Gs, B, 26 Gs, C, 10 Gs, or D, 14 Gs. Ready, set, strain that brain. The 
answer is B. Bull riders have registered up to 26 Gs when they are riding, and since the riders are scored on their form and style, it must appear that they are in complete control during the entire ride. That is, if they stay on long enough to finish the ride. Iderica Jones, TSC News. Thanks, Iderica, for that informative look at bull riding. Now let's head back to LG for all the announcements in today's Shark Scoop. Happy Friday, Sharks. I'm Kimmy, and here are the announcements to finish out the week. The Junior Anime Association is holding two car washes this month. One is this Saturday, and the other is on Saturday the 17th. Both will be held at the Pet Boys on Carpenter's Way from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. All anime members need to bring supplies for the car wash. The first soccer game of the year is a home game. It will be held on Tuesday, February 13th at Lake Gibson High School, and they are playing Sleepy Hill. Girls play at 6.30 and the boys play at 7.30. If you wear your Lake Gibson Middle School t-shirt, you get into the game for free. Student government is now selling candy grams for Valentine's Day. For $2, you can send delicious candy and a personal message to your sweetheart or friends. Buy yours at the school store. There will be another LGMS at the table night on Thursday, February 15th. The theme is breakfast for dinner. If you and your family are interested in a delicious and free meal cooked by our culinary department, you need to call our main office at 853-6151 to make a reservation. Light up bracelets are still for sale. They cost $5 and you can purchase them in garnet, gold, and blue. Buy one or all three colors. The batteries are replaceable and it's a great way to show your school spirit. Stop by the car rider line in the mornings or go to the main office to buy yours. This week's word of the week has been intervene. It's a verb that means to come between so as to prevent or alter a result or course of events. Now here's today's classroom spotlight. Miss Duckworth and her pre-medical academy students were busy building brain models in class this week. By using different colors of clay, the students were able to build the different hemispheres of the brain as well as the cortex and cerebellum. This hands-on activity will be one her students will remember for many years to come, especially when they enter the medical field. Have an amazing weekend, everyone. Kimmy Harwell, TSZ News. Now it's time for us to go out to the FMX Bikers, wow the audience with their amazing stunts. Make sure to watch next week's shows about Embarrassing Parents, Black History Month, and Valentine's Day gift ideas. I'm Wandy. And I'm Jaden. Have, Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, weekend, Sharks.